morning youtube people how you guys doing first off before i start this video um i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you for subscribing thank you for uh, your comments thank you for liking my videos and today we will talk about blue microphones the blue radius uh the yeti pro needs in no introduction you guys already know how very popular this mic is it's just i have it today just for a quick um <clears throat> experience with blue design the company that makes this microphone uh the yeti pro i bought uh, a yeti pro last year 2017 and what i failed to uh, uh, uh see is that um it was a b-stop um i saw the press was very attractive and then I went for it, but then when I got the mic, it was hard to record because it was making noise. Everything was a little bit, you know, um, very tinny. The sound was very tinny. I was getting noise. I could ever, you know, I could never get a nice clean sound. And then um, I saw a video and then what I did, I put it away. So it was just sitting on my desk for a year because I couldn't really use it. And then um, I saw a video from Booth Junkie Will Junkie uh, channel where he tests a lot of microphones. Shout out to Booth Junkie. Um, one of the uh, uh, um, commenters sent him a Yeti Pro and he had the same issue. And the next thing I know, um, the guy, the owner of that mic told him that, uh, yeah, they, he contacted Blue. He shipped his mic back and they, and they sent him a brand new unit. So I'm like, okay, so let me... Um, take a you know a chance so what i did i went back and find my receipt because i bought mine from b and h um, but you have to buy your microphone from a reputable um seller if not yeti i mean blue will not um um exchange or fix your problem with your microphone so i was lucky to find my receipt shipped it to i mean open an account with them shipped it to them and they send me a return authorization uh and then after like two weeks um i asked them a question say hey what's going on what is there any update with my microphone next thing i know boom uh it's, my case said uh, close and then shipment on its way i'm like okay so maybe they fixed my microphone and they're shipping me you know the same mic but next thing i know it was a brand new unit and now i have this brand new unit no noise it's very quiet very nice and um i'm gonna this was my first condenser mic to start with so i will be recording a few uh, uh, uh music stuff with it uh, a few videos a few podcasts um just to see you know um, um how this particular my unit is doing but so far so good i want to thank blue design for taking care of me like even though after a year it was still under warranty thank goodness I shipped it to them and they, no question asked, they just shipped me a brand new one and, and, and this is my experience with the company um, and I want to give a shout out to Blue Design for taking care of me. So, alright, the star of the show today is not the Blue Yeti because you guys already know Blue Yeti. Um, the star of the show today is the Radius 3. This is a brand new shock mount for the Yeti and the Yeti Pro. So um after i received my um new yeti pro they sent me a coupon and i got the radius 3 i was gonna get the radius 2 but when i went to the website i saw the 3 so the 3 is a brand new one um so let's see what's on the box so in the front you got the uh picture of it here color black i'm pretty much sure if you guys see how the radius 2 have deep multiple colors now i'm pretty much sure in the future they will have multiple colors for this radius 3 as well um there you go custom shock mount for yeti and yeti pro usb microphones and this is the front uh there you go radius 3 custom shock mount same thing here 2017 blue microphones Let's take a look all around of the box here there you go same thing all over same thing all right so let's see what's inside all right okay there you go so on the 
cover of the box here, we have a little picture here that shows how you can mount your Yeti Pro to the Radius 3. So a lot of people put it upside down, it looks cool on camera, or you can put it, you know, the proper way, fixing up. And what else is inside the box? So let me see here, let me pin my camera down. We have the shock mount. Oh, okay. One thing I can tell you guys, it's very light. It is very light, very nice built. It is very streamlined. I can feel like it's, it's compared to the Radius 2. The Radius 2 looks, uh, I don't know, very um, big. This is big too, don't get me wrong. This is big, there is no small shock mount. Um, Radius 2 has a little bit more components that makes it. This one is more streamlined. It feels light, but it's all metal though. No plastic here. It's all metal. It is very, it's very nice. And um, like they said, it's a very, it's still like a vintage design, but um, it is, you know, a, a very streamlined, a more streamlined, lighter weight design. Um, like this is like, it's perfect on camera streaming, custom design for the Yeti Head Pro microphones. So, um, and then you can put some standard microphones on it if they are able to, you know, fit it. But I really, I was going to buy the two, but I'm like, hey, this is a new one. So it must be a much more improved. So I went with it. So it's very nice. I like the fact that this piece here that mounts to the mic stand is metal. We're not dealing with any plastic part here, people. And probably inside, uh, this can focus. You probably have the little the teeth inside of this to hold it. So yeah, all metal, which is very good. Or some kind of alloy, maybe, probably. So there you go. You can tighten up, make sure it's locked. Boom. Because this might have some weight on it, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, the only thing is that Radius 2 has three different colors. You can buy a white Radius 2. That's if you want to match your Yeti or Yeti Pro. All right. This one, did, it's brand new, just came out, so they only have the black in it. So what else is inside the box? Oh, that's pretty much it. So you got the shock mount and then the last thing inside the box. Nothing else. The last thing inside the box is the screw. To screw the mic on. All right. So that's pretty much it for today. The next video, uh, we'll just put, put it together and see how it looks with the shock mount, how the Yeti Pro looks with the shock mount. But um, I was very, very happy with my experience with blue design microphones and this piece goes right there there you go very happy with my experience with um blue design and uh, i will be mounting the yeti pro my yeti pro on this shock mount and on my mic stand when it comes uh so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and you know subscribe and i will be bringing a lot more contents for you guys all right peace out i'll see you guys on the next video